Hi there and welcome to Tech Radar Talks. My name is Patrick Goss, I'm the Global Editor-in-Chief of Tech Radar. I have with me making his debut, Desiree Athal, who's in charge of Tech Radar Pro. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about Windows. So this week we saw an announcement from Microsoft about the version names. Des, can you just talk us through what they are and why they're important? Yeah, so uh, Microsoft um, lift the lid on seven versions of Windows 10 that are going to be rolled out over the next few months. Um, there's the one that we already know about, like Windows, 7, uh, Windows 10 Home, Windows 10 Pro, Windows 10 Mobile, uh, and also Windows 10 IoT, which stands for Internet of Things. Um, and um, there were a few surprises as well, like Windows 10 for Education, and Windows 10 Mobile Enterprise. Um, some of them are going to be free for um, users that already have a genuine and valid license. In this case, that would be Windows 10 Mobile and Windows 10 Home, as well as Windows 10 Pro. Uh, what essentially that gives users and uh, businesses alike is a roadmap of what's going to happen. So um, stand by for more. So, I mean, obviously this is a kind of a big deal for Microsoft. It's, it's a really critical um, operating system for them. They skipped Windows 9, they went from Windows 8, which I think, yeah. I wouldn't call it an unmitigated disaster, but, but maybe was yeah, problem, problematic, yeah. should we say, following, actually Windows 7 was pretty well received. Um, they skipped Windows 9, we've gone straight to Windows 10, and it's probably the last numbered version of Windows we're gonna see, right? Yeah, so this is, um, the single most important product that um, Microsoft will have launched, and there's a few reasons for that. Um, it, we, as you mentioned, as you rightly mentioned, there have been rumors that Windows 10 is going to be the last versioned uh, OS that Microsoft will produce. And that's because Microsoft is transitioning gradually to um, software as a service, or SaaS, as we call it. We have already seen that happening with Office 2013, moving to Office 365. And there's no reason why the same thing wouldn't happen for Windows 10 and something like, say, Windows 365. Um, so I, I suppose the obvious question is, you, you look at something like OS X, where actually, although OS X has been around for a long time, the versions become important in themselves. So you have, you know, Yosemite and, mm. and Snow Leopard and things like that. So do you think that's likely to be the model for Microsoft? Or do you think they genuinely will just have an ever-evolving Windows platform? I think both of going to, um, i.e. having um, a client, so like a, a traditional application model and software that lives in the cloud, that's going to be um, the route going forward. So I reckon that we might have Windows 10.1 or something akin to that. And at the same time, having Windows 365 or whatever the name is going to be, um, which is going to be um, without any numbers attached to that. Yeah. So. You know, you use Google or you use Gmail, you don't ask yourself, is that Gmail 10.1 or Gmail 10.6? Yeah, absolutely. Just use Gmail as a service in the cloud. So it's a really critical time for Microsoft. Um, we'll be watching with interest to see if Windows 10 is a bit more Windows Vista or a bit more Windows XP. Um, so stay in touch and uh, come back for Tech Radar Talks next week. Cheers, guys.